All right, so following up to some comments on getting the side view mirrors to tilt on reverse, uh, this is gonna supplement some of the information that's been on the Maki forum. So here we go. Uh, once you make your change on Forescan, so going into the APIM and the non as built section, so the pre programmed scripts to enable mirrors tilting in reverse, once you write that change, you're gonna come back into your settings, so vehicle, sorry, settings, then vehicle. Uh, you're going to expand mirrors and then turn on reverse tilt. So that now activates the function in the car. Your next step is to program each mirror's reverse tilt position. And here's how you do that. So I'm going to start with the passenger mirror. So right now it's in my normal driving position. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to turn the right mirror button on. I'm going to activate my seat position, which is number one. So press and hold for the beep. And we're entering programming mode now. So now what we do, foot on the brake, car into reverse. Now the mirror is gonna go way out to the side and down, pretty much useless for seeing a curb that's next to your car. What you're gonna do is make that adjustment to where you would like to have the mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw mine right there because that looks good to me for now. I'm going to press and hold my same memory seat button. Now it's not going to beep until you let go. So wait about three seconds, then let go. Hear the beep. And now what we're gonna do is throw the car back into park. And about five seconds later, the mirror will come back up. So just one more minute. And once it comes back to your normal driving position, which it will, you then have to end the programming sequence by pushing and holding your memory seat button until you hear a beep. And that's it. So now to demonstrate, we're still on the right mirror reverse going to go into reverse as you can see it goes straight down to my position it's no longer going way out far to the wide uh, wide to the right which you saw by default so now it sits exactly where I want it and from there um, I'm just going to demonstrate I'm going to go in the drive and uh, this is I believe timed with the rear camera delay so it will come back uh, when your camera turns off as well as uh, you start driving but I haven't really moved yet so the camera is still there so um, that's it. And then you would do the same exact process for the driver's side and your reverse mirror, side mirror tilting is all set up and programmed.